Okay, let's explore the Sgraffito technique. I want you to open up your sketchbook to the next page after your pattern exercise. As you can see, I have already completed my Sgraffito exercise in my sketchbook. You will write the word Sgraffito along with the definition of the technique, and then you will explore the technique in a variety of ways, depending on what you're interested in. And I always encourage you to label what you've done. So let's get started. Again, you'll be doing this in your sketchbook, but I'm using a piece of paper since I have already completed in my sketchbook. So, as you can see, I have crayons laid out here. You're going to take your black crayon and you're going to lay it to the side. I would also like to address, um, I notice a, very often in art class, students want, always want the pointiest crayons, the fresh crayons, like my pink and brown crayon right here. But once you start getting into more advanced techniques, it's actually better to just wear your crayon down. Let the paper peel off. This is my favorite crayon color. I use it all the time. The paper isn't even on it anymore. You can actually use the point of your crayon, the back of your crayon, you can use the sides of your crayon. It gives you way more surface area to work with, and that's something to keep in mind. So please don't ever discard your crayons just because they're really short, or the paper is really dirty, or the paper peeled off, okay? So I'm using my real crayon set today. All right, let's begin. So as I mentioned, you want to choose bright colors. When you color on your paper, you don't need to color the entire page. Remember. In my sketchbook, I only colored little areas because I want to experiment. Now, I want you to use crayons on this part. I'm going to color really hard here, okay? And if you want to try different tools, um, for instance, I'll color hard here, I'll color lightly here, and maybe you have colored pencils that you would like to use. You could do another set over to the right or on the, uh, the next page here or underneath, wherever you have space. Okay, so I'm going to do two here. Then I'm going to do a third one where I'm going to switch the colors up. I'm going to do something different. Now you don't have to um, be really careful with this. You can get really messy with it if you want, okay? Um, but one thing you do need to do is cover in the spaces. I don't have any of those peekaboo spots. I don't have any white paper peeking through. That's important. Now, once you get used to this technique and you learn how to plan out your design ahead of time, then you can start playing around with leaving some spots open on the paper. But for now, let's just keep it simple since we are learning this technique and playing with it. So, oops. Over on this side, I'm actually going to add in some dark colors. Um, because I want to show you why we don't really want to do this. And you can also color over top of color. See how I'm getting a little messy with it? That's fine. Have fun with it, you know? Have fun. This is, a, this is especially great for the, those of us who may not really like to get into details. We just want to fly free with our, you know, expressiveness, our creative expressiveness. All right. So I think this is good for now, just for the sake of um, giving you examples. Let me just finish this one up. So as you can see, I'm not, oh, see my crayon snapped. Am I going to throw it away? No way. I'm going to keep it. Yes, yes. Um, I'm going to color this guy. Yeah. So hopefully you can see that, oops, this spot right here, I've applied a lot of pressure. This spot right here, I have not applied a lot of pressure. This is color value, friends. Right here, exactly. And here, instead of using bright colors, I've used darker colors. Darker hues, lighter hues, okay? So, next step, step two. We're going to color over top of these with black, okay? Now when you color over it with black, you want to apply pressure. You really want a dark top layer. That's what gives you this super awesome, rich, high contrast when you're scratching your design. 
into that top layer to reveal the bottom layer that you created in the beginning. Okay, so I'm just going to color these really quickly. Feel free to do the same. Now, we will be applying this technique in our projects. So when you do your projects, you're obviously going to be more careful with the perimeter of whatever spaces you are applying Scofito to. But for the sake of this exercise, I don't really want you to be too concerned with that. Okay. All right, so I have some nice, dark, yes, yes, yes. Some nice, dark, black blobs on my paper now. So this is where we get our toothpick. I've given you all two toothpicks because sometimes these snap. So better to be safe than sorry. This is where you can scratch any design in, okay? Now, I'm just going to scratch some nonsense in, okay? Um, I don't wanna take a lot of time, but see what's happening here? Now this one's a little harder to see. All right, so this is the result I got with my crayon. Now, if you're using colored pencil or if you're using a different brand of crayons, we can actually all get really different results. This is why I want to encourage you to experiment in your sketchbooks because you never know how it's going to turn out. So, this is where you decide what do you like the most. Write notes in your sketchbook so that when you are working on your final project, you have something to reference to help you to remember what worked, what didn't work. For instance, in my sketchbook, when I did not press hard on my base layer, it actually turned out looking really cool. It looked more pastel. Whereas on my practice sheet, it did not. Now, one thing I will mention is that in my sketchbook, I did not use a toothpick. I used a paper clip. Remember when I asked you earlier, why do you think we may experiment with different tools? Well, the reason is because you can get different results, different effects. Well, I want you to get started. Have fun. If you happen to have any other tool to scratch with, go for it. Give it a shot. This is your chance to learn what works best for you.